Hey everybody, I'm coming to you today from Stockholm, Sweden, which is chilly, it's wintry, it feels like an absolute winter wonderland, which is super fun, because I live in California. I don't know where you live, but it's really nice to be a place that feels cozy indoors. So one of the things that people love to do when it's cold is go inside, right? Hang out, have a little feast. So today I'm in one of the famed food halls in Stockholm. So if you joined me last uh, time that I was here, like a couple days ago, we were in Copenhagen and we were at a food hall as well. This one is in a really cool neighborhood of Stockholm. It's called Ostermalm. It's basically like their Beverly Hills is what I'm talking about. Now they're known for their food. You see this? Yep. Add some cheese. I'd eat that cheese. Would you eat that cheese? They've got all of these really great stalls. Full of seafood, full of prepared food. You can get a glass of wine. This poor gentleman here weirded out. It's fine. It's just a thing that happens. So we're gonna go on this little tour, right? Kind of get to know the market. And then I'm gonna show you some of the prepared foods with a few experts. Hi, Jeff. How you doing? It's great to have you here. What would you like to know? Do you want to know like where to get Swedish meatballs? That seems Let me know in the comments below what you guys want to see because I could show you, for example, a meat carcass. I don't know if that's the best looking visual though. What you might want to see is a Swedish meatball with some lingonberries on it. You might want to know about the seafood. Hi, JJ. It's good to see you too. Okay, so my goal today is to give you exactly what you want, but also to show you a meal that I have found here in Stockholm that is particularly delicious. It's like perfect for the season. It doesn't look as warm as you might think because it's cold seafood, however, it's delicious. So check this out before we get to the prepared stuff. This is an indication of how healthy the Scandinavian people are. They're all about their vegetables. They're all about looking good. I don't know if you've heard, but Swedes are kind of good looking. Okay. <gasps> Meatballs. Would you eat that? Vote yes or no. Let me know in the comments below. So for those of you who are just joining, we're in a place called Ostermom Salu Hall. Um, my pronunciation is obviously baller. All I really know about pronunciation, I learned from the Swedish chef in um, a cartoon. Remind me. Let me know in the comments below who I'm talking about. So Swedish chef um, had this like amazing accent. I'm gonna be offensive if I'm too loud. He was like hurdy gurdy birdy. That's how my Swedish actually sounds. Except if you do want to know how to say thank you, text make it. That's what everyone says in order to say thank you very much. Okay, so if you wander down these little stalls, you see all kinds of food. You can see a chicken bobbing its head. Oh, hey, guy. Text to make you, huh? Meat, more meat, prepared foods, baked goods. What is that? Meatballs! Jeff Fisher. You want to see salads? All right, Gino Fisher, let's find you some salads. So I'm guessing you don't want like an apple vanilla pastry. That's pretty good. You can eat that after your salad. Does this count as a salad? Negatory. We're going, we're going. We're gonna find you that salad. Oh, oh, Gino, Gino. Oh, we're getting close. No, uh, not quite. So actually, this brings me to a good point, Gino. They also love all of this prepared quiche style food here. So anything that looks like a quiche, that's like a potato lasagna essentially, is all the rage. These are meat and potatoes people, which is great for me because I'm from Ohio originally. And so like, that's what we ate. Okay. Um, salads may be a little tricky right now, Gino. Oh, but I do find some fresh produce. So check this out. So this spot right here, Robert's Coffee. You guys are good. Hi. 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 Robert's Coffee is a Finnish coffee place. I just 
Cortado there, um, which is a great indication of globalization because Cortado is a Latin style of coffee where it's like a little espresso and a little milk. So, I got an idea. I spotted a place. I know a couple of gals. Swedes are beautiful. So I want them to tell us all about the local dishes. Hi. Hi. <laughs> How you doing? I'm fine, you? Fine, thanks. So this is Jeanette, yeah. but you pronounce it like Jeanette, exactly. right? Yes, got it. Can you show me some of the things that people eat here? Yeah. Yeah. Should I go around? I'd love so that. <laughs> so we got a local guide here, and she's going to show us all of the goodies. Check this out. So Swedish people love shrimps, salmon. So we have this uh, Swedish uh, shrimp sandwich. Okay, okay. With shrimps, mayonnaise, and egg under. Shrimp, mayonnaise, Very typical. egg. We sell about five, six on these plates every day. Wow, that's good. It's yeah. kind of like the um, Danish open face sandwich, exactly. which we just found out exactly. about last week. Okay, so you got like yeah. a shrimp open face sandwich. Exactly. And then we have this with sal smoked salmon, mm -hmm. and over there in the corner it's uh, marinade, it's cured salmon, I think you call it, with salt and nice. sugar. Nice. Okay, so you got smoked salmon here. Yeah. You've got cured salmon here. If you had to choose, Jeanette, do you have a favorite between the salmons? I like the cured one. Why better. do you like the cured one more? I don't know. I I like it more. Just I have the trouble with the smoked flavor of it. Okay. So. Okay. All right. Quick poll for all of you. If you had to choose between the shrimp open face sandwich, the salmon open face sandwich that's been cured, and the one that's been smoked, what would you choose? Let me know in the comments below. And real quick, for those of you just joining us, hi! It's really great to have you. I'm here with Kenneta, and we're at the Ostermalm's Salu Hall. Perfect. Perfect. Oh my gosh, you guys, we're getting the <laughs> hang of it. And I'm learning all about the Swedish eats here, which are pretty darn good. So I have a question for you, and that is, what is the best food to eat during the winter time here? Like, what's fresh, and what kind of warms you up? We eat a lot of fish soup. It's very popular. We sell it a lot here okay. with fish, shrimps, tomato based, and some garlic mayonnaise under. So fish soup and garlic mayonnaise in it. Yeah. Sounds like a dream come true. Very good. Can and you eat that a lot on a of date? Bread. And a lot of bread. Yeah. So do you guys eat garlic on dates? Because we have this concept in America that it's like kind of a bad idea to eat yeah, garlic kind on of a sensitive. date. It's <laughs> kind of sensitive. Some people, yeah, some people don't. No. Sorry for anyone I've offended in a social <laughs> setting, but I love garlic, so I definitely yeah, eat it in my food. soup. You should eat it. You okay. should eat garlic. You should eat garlic. Yeah. And it scares the vampires away. Exactly. Which is really important. <laughs> Okay, so question for you. You're catching all of this seafood fresh in the winter time, yeah. right? Where do you get all the produce though? Do you know, like, are you importing it from Europe and you get it from warmer climates? I think it's further down in Sweden. I'm not that good at exactly where you get it. We have like American lobster. American lobster? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Way to go, team! Yeah. yeah. All you in America? Tanette over here is thanking you, I think. Hi! Oh, Silver. Okay, so Silver Feldman, now that we've asked who would vote for what, she actually wants the cured salmon. I think probably because you gave the recommendation. Yeah. Hi, Todd Van Astal. Let's give him a little wave. Look at that cute hand. Hi. Hi. What else would you recommend that people try when they're in Scandinavia and specifically in Stockholm? We so. Only maybe salmon, fish soup. Everyone wants to try the cured or the smoked salmon. Okay. It's very typical. Salmon we also fish have soup? a skogen. What's with skogen? Shrimps mixed in mayonnaise. Oh, yeah. And some dill, salt, and pepper. That sounds on great. On toasted bread. So I noticed that your shrimp are really small here. Yeah. And they're really sweet. So and we, we put it in, in salted water. Really? In yeah. salt water? Yeah. And does it kind of break it down, make it softer? If yeah. You keep it in there? Because like in America, when we're eating shrimp, it's like if you order a shrimp cocktail, have you ever heard of shrimp cocktail? No. Okay, they're huge. We like oh, expect yeah. them to be the size of my hand and we're like, okay. oh, if they're smaller, they're probably not worth it. The shrimp here are the best I've ever had. Okay, it's very good. And you put a bunch of them. It's more flavor to it when it's smaller. Yeah, it's more flavor. It's sweeter. And so if you put them like in that sauce that you were describing on top of a baked potato and it's a cold winter's day, ugh, Annette, it's pretty good. Yeah. 
I'm thinking of moving here so I can eat it up. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so you have that great meal. What do you follow it up with in terms of like a sweet, if you're having a sweet tooth? Mm, we have this, let me see if it, yeah, here. We're going for the sweets, folks. The princess cake. A princess cake? Princess torta. Oh, that looks really green. So, yeah, I know. What do you use? We usually make it a big one. So yeah. this is kind of special that we make them small. That's gorgeous. And it come, it's um, a jam, jam, cream, cream, and a, what do you call it? Socke um, coca. Um, mm. Like you when you bake a cake. An icing? No, no, no. Hmm? Uh, the bread. The dough. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a typical cake. Yeah, dough. we just call it dough. All yeah. right. That sounds good. And marzipan, of course. And marzipan, which is made of almonds. Yeah. Okay. We have so a question like, here as well. And also like apple tarts, very popular with vanilla sauce. Oh my gosh, that apple tart looks so good. And like a carrot cake, exactly. morotskaka mini. And you got a macaroon, it looks like cake or something. Okay, some chocolate. A couple of years ago, chocolate. everybody wants to eat macarons. Yeah, the macaroons became really popular yeah. for us as well. So we have a person who just commented and she wants to know what's a typical breakfast. While I like to believe that that breakfast is a cake, <laughs> guys, I, I don't think that's it. For those of you who are just joining, we're at this uh, food hall in Ostermalm neighborhood in Stockholm and I'm getting a foodie tour of this food hall from the best guide. She works in one of the food stalls herself, her name is Hinnet. So Hinnet, yeah. what is a typical breakfast in Sweden? We eat a lot of bread. We like Dark a lot of bread. bread. Mm -hmm. bread, sourdough bread. Yeah, yeah. Uh, with ham, cheese. Yeah. Can't go wrong, really. No. Yeah. Maybe some yogurt. Yeah. I don't know if you've Orange heard this. Juice. European bread is totally different than bread in the U.S. So we eat bread in the U.S. There are a lot of people who actually get sick from it. Like it gives them stomach aches and oh. they can't process it because we have processed it too much. Oh, okay. So when you see here, we have a lot of bread here. You guys, oh, okay. tell me that doesn't look good. Throw some likes on that bread. Give me a heart or two for some rye. <laughs> I mean, hello. Well, thanks for sneaking out of work. I hope it's your okay. boss will manage. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> we just totally stole her, you guys, which makes us the very lucky ones. Thank you for tuning in, for commenting, for watching, and for throwing some likes onto that raw bread because it looks good. Thank you. Thank you to Hennet. Come and visit us. Come and visit. Yeah. I might be moving here so you guys can just stay with me. That's not true. I'm not moving. I just like it a lot. <laughs> yeah. And how do you say thank you in Swedish? Tak tak. Tak tak. Thanks, thanks. <laughs> Bye. Bye.